Hello and welcome. My name is Meeplus, they, she, he, and this is Literally Graphic. And today we are doing another re-review of one of my early reads on this channel, namely Trinity, a graphic history of the first atomic bomb by Jonathan Federvorm. It's a non-fiction graphic novel published in 2012 by Hill and Wang. Content notes for World War II, discovery of radiation, government secrets, and bombing civilians. According to his website, quote, Jonathan Feder Vorm is an author and artist. His first book, Trinity, A Graphic History of the First Atomic Bomb, was selected by the American Library Association as a best graphic novel for teens in 2013 and has been translated into half a dozen languages. His other books include Battle Lines, A Graphic History of the Civil War, co-authored with historian Ari Kalman and the Eisner Award-nominated Moonbound, Apollo 11 and the Dream of Spaceflight. His work has appeared in the New York Times, Slate, and Guernica. Jonathan lives with his wife and son in Montana, end quote. What are some of the key words that came to mind reading this book? Ego, ethics, history, physics, research, us versus them, and doom. The synopsis of Trinity is, quote, the debut graphic book by the gifted illustrator Jonathan Fettervorm depicts in vivid detail the dramatic history of the race to build and the decision to drop the first atomic bomb. The sweeping historical narrative traces the spark of invention from the laboratories of 19th century Europe to the massive industrial and scientific efforts of the Manhattan Project. Along the way, Feder Vorm takes special care to explain the fundamental science of nuclear reactions with the clarity and accessibility that only a graphic book can provide. Trinity transports the reader into the core of a nuclear reaction into the splitting atoms themselves. The power of the atom was harnessed in a top-secret government compound in Los Alamos, New Mexico, where some of the greatest scientific minds in the world gathered together to work on the bomb. Federform showcases J. Robert Oppenheimer, Enrico Fermi, and General Leslie Groves, the fathers of the atomic bomb, whose insights unleash the most devastating explosion known to humankind. These brilliant scientists wrestled daily with both the difficulty of building an atomic weapon and the moral implications of actually succeeding. When the first bomb finally went off at a test site codenamed Trinity, the world was irreversibly thrust into a new and terrifying age, with powerful renderings of the catastrophic events at Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Federvorm, it unflinchingly chronicles the far-reaching political, environmental, and ethical effects of this new discovery. Richly illustrated and deeply researched, Trinity is a dramatic, informative, and thought-provoking book on one of the most significant and harrowing events in history. End quote. An extremely well put together nonfiction graphic novel, Trinity uses the medium to its greatest advantage to make the history not only compelling, but also to teach some of the physics at play along the way. Each page layout is interesting, but easy to follow. Returning to Trinity, one of the aspects I really wanted to re-examine was the angle of the narrative, for lack of a better term. I was wondering if it still came across as subtly but distinctly anti-nuclear bomb. And this does seem to still be the case. It has become harder to believe anyone on Earth would believe any sort of pro-American made nuclear bomb propaganda. That said, president after president keeps, quote, modernizing the arsenal. So I do recognize mine is not a universally acknowledged truth. But I suppose it's a good idea to have a book that is a bit subtle about how dooming all of this scientific research and mass death for scientific research was for those who remained unconvinced. That said, the book does entirely overlook the impact of the mining and tests on many different Native American groups and their traditional territories, which only seems more glaring as time goes on. Unsurprisingly, the only aspect of gender and race that really comes to the forefront is how monolithic government science was at the time. Class and sexuality also wasn't highlighted at all. Federvorm does spend a few pages portraying the medical aftermath to the dropping of the bomb in Japan. Uh, to conclude, I think we'll be sticking with my rating of 4 out of 5 stars. Would recommend. Bye y'all, keep reading an organized and capitalist depression. And as always, Literally Graphic is created on land that should be given back to the traditional land holders, which in this case is, to my knowledge, the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, Anishinaabe people, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wendat Nation.